video is about ge geometric sequences. We just talked about arithmetic sequences as a common difference, something added or subtracted, and now we talk about geometric. Okay, geometric sequence is a sequence, it says a sequence is geometric if the ratio of the consecutive terms are the same. Okay, what that means, ratio is the key word here, means each term is multiplied or divided by the same value to get the next term. And that, that value is what we call R or what the common ratio. Okay, so with arithmetic, it was adding or subtracting a certain number, a common difference. But with geometric, it's a common ratio, something that is multiplied or divided. So here's your sequence, here's your terms, A1, A2, A3, A4, on and on and on. To find that common ratio, you take the second term divided by the first, and it'll be the same as if it's the third divided by the second or the four, fourth divided by the third, and on and on and on. Same thing, it's the common ratio. So number one here, is the sequence geometric? Well, how do I know? I divide, basically. Four divided by two is two. Eight divided by four is two. 16 divided by 8 is 2. Since these values are all the same, then yes, it's geometric. And the common ratio is 2. What did I get each time I divided? As simple as that. So on number 2 here, it says find the first five terms if a sub 1 is 3 and r is 2. Well, we just said it's multiplied or divided. It's always go with multiplied unless it's a fraction, and that's just dividing. So if a sub 1 is 3, that means the first term in the sequence is 3. To get the next term, I multiply by the common ratio, which is a 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. So now I have my five terms of the sequence. All right, easy enough. All right, now finding the nth term of a geometric sequence. OK, this is similar to what we did before. Say I have a sequence. And I want the 150th term, but I don't want to write all 150 terms out. Well, there's a formula to help us out. Okay, here's our formula. A sub n, remember n represents the nth term, is going to be the first term multiplied by the common ratio raised to the n minus 1 power. And n will be given to you, ratio should be given to you, or the, the common ratio should be given to you, and the first term. So like on number 3 here, find the 15th term if a sub 1 is 20, and r is 1.05. So a sub 15 equals a sub 1, which is 20, times r, 1.05, to the n minus 1. Well, n was 15, so I raise it to the 14th power, basically. That's what we're doing here. So be careful in your calculators. 20 times 1.05 raised to the 14th power. And I get 39.6, round to the nearest tenth. Okay, that would be the 15th term of the sequence. So same type of problem, they're giving me different information. Find the 12th term. Okay, so in this one, I know that n is 12, and I need to know r. I know a sub 1, because they tell me part of the list is a 5. So for the ratio, remember, you just divide. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 45 divided by 15 is 3. So my common ratio is a 3. Now I can plug into the equation. So a sub 12 will be a sub 1 is 5 times 3 raised to the n minus 1 power. Well, n is, n is 12 minus 1 is 11. So I just plug that in my calculator. 885,735. That is the 12th term of the sequence. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. For class, I want you to try this one. Find the 20th term if you're given this sequence. So you know what n is. Look for r and a sub 1. That's given. So use those things. Use your formula. And good luck. We'll see you in class.